Removing duplicates is easy in versions of Excel from 2007 on. However, many people avoid it because they don't know exactly how it works. We'll have a look at its inner workings as well as a way to get a delete list using VLOOKUP. Let's take a look at this list of customers. Let's say we have a customer that's complaining they're getting duplicate mailings from us. So we want to take care of that call, but also check to see if there are other potential duplicates. If we perform a simple Remove Duplicates, that's on the Data tab in the Data Tools group, we'll just hit Remove Duplicates here and click OK, it doesn't find any. So let's try that again, but this time removing the Customer ID field. And now we'll click OK. Now here it found two duplicate values and removed them. So apparently two customers were entered two times each and received distinct customer IDs. So the good news is no more duplicate mailings. The bad news is which customer IDs got deleted. Perhaps there was customer information associated with the deleted customer IDs that should be linked to the remaining one. So we can use some VLOOKUP smarts here to find out exactly which records got deleted. First, we'll undo our Remove Duplicates operation. So we can go back to the original list form. I'm just going to do Control-Z there. And next, we're going to right-click on this worksheet, choose Move or Copy, and Create a Copy. And let's move that to the end. And let's call this Customers Modified. Okay. Now back on our original worksheet, we're going to insert a blank column where we're going to put our VLOOKUP formulas. We'll just go ahead and label that column. And this is where we'll put the VLOOKUPs when we're done doing our change. So let's come over here to Customers Modified and run our Remove Duplicates. And we're going to remove CID, so it gives us the actual duplicates, and it shows us those two that were removed. Now, I'm going to name this range. I'm just going to select all my data here and name it Cust Mod. I just clicked up there in the name box and just started typing the named range. Keep in mind, named ranges can't have any spaces in them. You can use underscores if you like. Press Enter here. And now back on my original customer worksheet, I'm going to put my VLOOKUP in. So equal VL tab, that gives us our VLOOKUP function. We're going to look up the customer ID in B2. Where we're going to look it up is in the named range called CUSTMOD, and you see it showed up there in the list. We're actually looking to return the first column, which has the customer ID in CUSTMOD. And if it can't find it, we want it to tell us when we put a zero or the word false in there, it'll come back as an NA if it can't find it. So we'll go ahead and copy that down. And you'll notice we have two NAs here. So these two records were deleted on the customer's modified list. So now we know which customer IDs were deleted, and we can go ahead and reattach any linked information that may have been removed. If you want to report from this, we can just turn filters on. I used Control shift l there. And we're going to filter on VLOOKUP to only show us NAs. And now we have a list of the records that were deleted. Now you can use Remove Duplicates with confidence.